Hi, I'm Jesse. Today I want to demonstrate a project that I've been working on that uses real-time object recognition and eye tracking to control a prosthetic hand. And the result that we're looking for here today is to be able to look at an object and form a grip or a grasp based on what you're looking at. So for example, if I look at a banana, uh, we want the prosthetic hand to form a banana grasp. So quickly, what is the motivation behind this project? So I was talking earlier this year to a clinical rehabilitation specialist who told me that a major problem with uh, these devices today, hand exoskeletons, hand prosthetics, is in the way that they're controlled. So we have these super complex devices that are uh, that have 20 to 30 grasps types available, but users are, are really only using two to three grasps because it's just simply too difficult to control. The way they're currently controlled is something called myoelectric control, which is essentially just uh, it maps combinations of isolated muscle contractions to motions of the prosthetic hand. So one example that resonates with me is trying to flex my bicep without flexing my tricep, which if you try, it's actually quite difficult. Um, and so what we're trying to do here with this project is take the workload off of myoelectric, myoelectric control and instead put it on computer vision which in today's age, we really have the technology to do so. So in this project, what I'm using here is a headset from Pupil Labs, which has a, a world camera that perceives the world and your field of view, and another camera that is uh, tracking your eye. And here I'm using a 3D printed uh, flexible hand. It's an open bionics design with five linear actuators, um, one linear actuator per finger, and that will be controlled using your standard Arduino Mega 2560. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this demo. So I'll put on my mobile eye tracking device and uh, I'll pull my screen here. As you can see, I already got the Pupil Capture app running, which is streaming my world camera frame as well as my eye tracking frame. Um, and the, res the red dot that you see on the world frame is my gaze coordinate mapped onto the Im image frame. And the yellow circle that you see is actually a fixation. So pretty much self-explanatory, if I fixate upon a certain location for uh, a minimum duration of time, that yellow circle will appear. Um, so what I'm going to do quickly here is calibrate so that my uh, gaze is mapped accurately onto the image plane. And next what I'll do is run my object detection plugin, which will draw bounding boxes uh, uh, about the objects that are perceived in the world frame. And what we'll see here are obviously my laptop TV. Um, the X is drawn at the center of the object which is closest uh, to my current fixation. And so what, I'll, what we want to do now is send the label information um, of that recognized object that's closest to my fixation to the Arduino. And the way I've done this is that I've created a uh, ROS interface, so essentially a publisher in ROS that will publish this information to a ROS topic uh, that is also subscribed to, on the other hand, by Arduino. Um, all this code will be publicly available. Uh, though it's a simple publisher and subscriber on ROS essentially. And so now what you'll see is I've started the ROS node that um, publishes the information to the ROS topic. I'll establish a serial connection between my laptop and the Arduino. And what we'll hear now are text-to-speech conversions of the TV. currently fixated object. Um, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to look at an object TV. and if there's an associated grasp with that object uh, that I've already hard-coded in, then that, ob that grasp will be performed uh, by the hand. So let's take, for example, let's try to cut. Okay, so we'll see that we've got um, a cut grasp here. Now we'll try another one. Um, Let's, let's try a book. So if you were to want to turn the pages of a book, for example, you would put your hand here and I guess leaf through the pages with your front finger. That would probably be the easiest way to go about it. 
And there you have it. Um, let's try another object. This one might be useful. Grass for a banana is important because you need your daily dose of potassium. And there you have it. Um, let's try if it knows what a grapefruit is. Apple, grapefruit, probably use the same grasp. And there you have a grasp for an apple. So there's a quick demonstration of how to use object recognition in real time along with eye tracking to help in the control of a prosthetic hand. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the demo. All the code is freely available on my GitHub, which is posted in the link below.